Hey everybody, welcome back to another game of Gwent. Um, I gotta say I'm loving this, if you can't tell. Uh, we're probably gonna do a Skellige deck here. Yeah, we'll do the Skellige deck. I'm gonna rotate through all of these, and uh, yeah, it's I've been really enjoying it. Um, we're so far four and two, which isn't bad. Both of our losses with the Squiatel deck, so I do have to kind of avenge that. But um, yeah, this is, this is really fun. It's really fun so far. Uh, I found out a couple of things. So some of the animated cards. The heart of an uncrate. That's because um, they're premium cards. So if I can find one, I'll show you. Clear skies, scorch, play bronze from your graveyard. This is good for these guys that get extra strength from the graveyard. Clan and Crate Warriors, Basic 7, like Longship Basic 7. Prize winning Cows turn into Chorts, which I think is a 6 damage card. Uh, Morkvarg, we play him from the graveyard. He gets his original strength reduced by 3 when destroyed. Um, that's fine. That's good to have. Trolls just strong. Draw 2 cards and discard 2 cards from your hand with Burna. Uh, it's okay. I'm gonna trade Clear Skies. Oh, hello. Turn this unit to your hand when you lose the round. Okay. Um, swap out these basics. All right, not bad. Let's start with this guy. We'll throw out the cow next. Playing against Phoenix 20, the Northern Realms. Northern Realms gets to make a copy, I believe. Yeah, choose a bronze unit on your side of the battlefield and create a copy of it. You can try to win them all, but you won't. Okay, that's good. That's good to play. I'll give you that. We'll throw out Morkvarg next. Can't take it anymore. Oh my god. That could become a serious problem. That could become a serious problem. This is a silver card, so we can't grab it with the Priestess. It can only grab bronze cards. Um, we do have cards, like so... We have to draw them. We can grab silver cards, I'm sure. Let's get this out there early. You cannot hide your stench. Oh, look at that. Promote. Okay, so Promote has given them all extra strength, and they're all gold cards now. Interesting. We probably don't want to go too much further here. I think what we'll do is play Siri Just to make sure that he has to play more cards We're gonna lose the round it's gonna come back those two things are gonna go to the graveyard, but hopefully we can get them out of there soon We will be able to bring back the uh, Clan Terseek skirmishers Report on order. I Mean we could just torch them too we're gonna have bigger fish to fry. I'm gonna let him take this. We get the Siri card back, get the graveyard stuff going. That's where this class is the strongest, I think. There's the chort. He comes back. Beautiful. Ah, uh, okay. Now, this, this has to be a Skellige faction thing, where all of these guys are slowly gaining strength uh, as long as they're in your hand. It kind of counteracts the, the natural inclination to want to send stuff to your graveyard, though, so it's kind of, it's a cool balance. Uh, two strength to all non-gold units on the row, so that gets these guys pretty strong. Two strength for non-gold units in your graveyard. What do we have in here? 
We have the chort, the silver, and bronze. So we want to bring out that the bronze. I think. Modern Freyr is patient, but she brooks no insult. I'm hoping that he looks at this and he's like, eh, I might want to throw this round. Because we do have a pretty substantial lead on him already. So far, I don't have any good way of bringing out silver cards. <laughs> Finally. Ah, he's still going. Uh, there's no sense playing Siri because we... If we lose this round, it's over. So... If we can hold on to her, it's... You know, it's 8 damage. It's not the best in the world, but... Um... Let's throw out the warrior. Now he can make a copy of any of his bronze cards. Um, and I can create two clan and create warrior units. Uh, which is these guys. So they get to be pretty strong. They come out as sevens, I believe. He's making me work for it. Uh, let's check in. What do we have here? Just the silver cow. We could look at drawing extra cards here. We could just add two strength to that front line and be like, you know what? Bring it. Hey, listen here. Let's do it. Listen well. Let's see what he wants to do here. He's down to five cards. I've got six. The Scorch does not help me in this situation. I have a feeling he's going to pass this. If that's if I was him, that's what I would do. But that might not be the best play. And really, what would probably have been better for me? I'll no, do he's what playing. I can. Okay. So he's removed, remove four strength from it. So he got rid of that, but these guys still get the benefit. It's like a one-time thing. So I'm fine with that. That was an interesting choice. Um, what's in our graveyard here again? I can just bring him right back. We serve her who is virgin, mother, and crone. Gets even stronger. He's down to four. He's gonna scorch one. That's fine. I'm still ahead. Um. I think I have to play the troll here. Or I can bring out the warriors, but I think the troll's better. I could play Siri. I mean, either play her now or next turn. She has gold though, She's, so she can't be targeted, which is nice. Plenty. He's getting really low on cards. Like, what else is he going to have? Yeah, he's passing. There we go. Okay. So I feel good about our chances here. That Morkvarg, he's got 10. Let's see how that... Um, reduce... Oh, it's original strength. So they've got that covered. If he gains strength, he's not going to have, like, a version of that strength once he comes back out. We got ourselves a game. He's down to three. Oh, nice. That's actually really nice. Okay. So, I think what we want to do... He's coming out as nine. Berna goes on his side, doesn't he? Oh, no. Berna's on our side. Loyal. I said he, but 
We shall do it my way. Okay. Non-gold unit. That's pretty good. Um... Shit. No, it took that one. I don't like that we can't see that timer. That's pretty frustrating. Don't make me okay, let's put her out there now. Pretty much whatever he plays next, I'm going to scorch, I think. For the king! Perfect. Scorch them both before they go gold. I still have our two warriors we can bring out. Sure. Be glad to. Shani, that's a good one. Shani's actually a really great card. Super helpful. It's pretty strong. Now we get to bring a bronze unit out if we want. Um, doesn't make sense to just bring these guys out, does it? You know what? It kind of could, in a sense. Oh, we have to play it, though. Well, actually, we could just create, like, a little train. Right? We serve her who is virgin, mother, and crone. Modern Freyr is patient. But she brooks no insult. I kind of like that. No, Don't bottom! Alright. It's really tough when they're on a timer. Come foolery! Enough! Nice. She's gonna be close. Glory to you. Stromit drag. What's he got? Damn it. Ooh. Oh, I think we are just going to barely beat him. We're going to beat him by one. These guys come out of sevens. <laughs> He's got to be pissed. Wow. That was close. That was really close. I actually didn't think uh, it was going to be that close at the end. I felt pretty confident. But, uh, yeah. The only... Uh, so what we should have done... If I wasn't in such a rush there... And you got to make these decisions, like, super quick. Um, but we wanted to bring out those warriors first, then bring out that other, uh, dwarf that gave everybody the extra strength, so. Uh, good game, Phoenix20. Good game. We're now 5-2, and two, um, which is nice, but that elusive Scoia'tael win is starting to bug me, so. I might skip the Northern Realms and see if we can't win a Scoia'tael deck. We'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.